So it's been six months since I am into plants and I want to tell you some of the things I learned about them, some of the things that keep me going and some that sometimes make me give up. And I want to tell you that the first thing when you actually start the journey is that you want to get a lot of plants. Like you really buy every single plant you see and you think, I don't have this plant, I need this plant. And then um, you take it home and you don't know how to care for it and it's going all down the hill. Or you don't do anything for the plant and it just grows for you. It just goes up big, nice. And that's what's happening to me for the past six months. So I'll start with cactuses. So one of the cactuses here, dead. Another one still going and they say that during the months of the winter you shouldn't when they are sleeping you shouldn't give them water because they have no growth no nothing they're just staying there and sleeping and enjoying the weather and here we go here we go this is the cactus during the winter it just grows and grows and gives me new baby pods every single month and this month it Got a lot of them like every single one has new growth some have two of them i've also learned online that if a cactus is damaged like this one it's most likely going to die so that's what i thought is going to happen and then here we are same for this one this one looks better than that one but look here smaller growth and the one that's like definitely supposed to die <laughs> we have it here a big baby these are actually cactuses from florida after in hurricane hit in people had them thrown outside and i just picked them up and sent it back to my house and the shipping was rough and probably these are some of the damage from the hurricane and this is another one i found them on the floor picked them up and here we are they decided right now they did nothing for like two months they had no roots no nothing and i just had to hope for them because <laughs> I paid a lot of money for shipping and I really didn't expect them to do well. We were talking with my husband that this is probably dead and we'll have to throw it away. And then in a couple of days after that talk, we got this baby here. Then you hear that the money plant or puffles are the easiest plants to grow because they just grow and grow and grow. Not entirely true. Some of them are doing very good, like this one is doing very good. It's like pretty tall. It's almost as tall as me. This one is doing good too, but pushes less leaves. And then this one I found most difficult. It really doesn't push too many new leaves. Actually, I think this is my first leaf since I got it. And I did have some spider mites on it that I treated well. Apparently, they didn't come back. And after that, it gave me the new leaf. It actually looks pretty cool. I never saw how it looks as a baby. It looks very good. And then uh, these ones, not doing so good. And these ones are not going so good either. They are like, eh, I guess I'll have to cut this one. As you see, it just died here. And I have to cut it and propagate this leaf. It's really pretty though. So the money tree, they do have some issues too. They like and don't like the same things. I will tell you, I have like probably a couple of them. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight or nine of them. And not everyone is doing good. This one, I bought it off Etsy. And this part was full and it died and then it you see new leaves coming out and then they die again and then this one I'm left with just one leaf and I hope it's gonna get back and I treat them the same way all of them are treated the same way and I don't know um, why exactly some of them are like thriving and growing while the other ones are dying and this is the only one that's in a bad pot I still have to repot it and i wanted to make a video to show the roots and all that so the plant is kind of dying on me i need to do it faster apparently but the rest are planted in good pots and i don't know what's happening to them i have here the golden puffos and this expands not in the height but more wider like it really filled my um 
pot, but it didn't go like, I think this is how much it just, go just like a few leaves on the sides. That one is from Florida as well, and it finally gave me a new leaf. Um, this one is from Florida as well, and it's beaten up because of the shipping. That's something that, that died in there. <laughs> as you can see, it's not as easy uh, as you think. I mean, for me personally, it's not as easy because I do like the plants. I, I love all these plants. I love to take care of them. It really makes me peaceful. It makes me feel good. But also, if you don't have the time, since I started to work, I don't have the time to do everything I did before. So they keep dead dead and dead another one dead this i don't know after i potted it had some type of stress this was a new leaf and it kind of died the other leaves are fine i got this as a gift I, I went to a business for my husband and i just said wow it's so big can i have a cutting and they said of course go ahead get it do it and now it's pushing a new leaf so i'm pretty happy because when i saw this i was like oh gosh no then I got crazy about alocasias, and I have here an alocasia, here an alocasia. This is the one that I have in a smaller version too, and as soon as the, uh, the new leaf is up, the old leaf is dying, and then this is alocasia, and then this is one of my favorite, very pretty ones, and then this one, and then here we go, another one. And if you look for my plants, I really tend to like several species and i just keep having them and then i got the treats the ficus and this was full i got it for four bucks it was so big and so pretty at lowest then it died kind of died everything and then now it has new grow points i'm very very hopeful for it this is the ficus i got from um, costco and the only reason i got it it was because when it touched the leaves they're like so soft like you know like velvet when you touch velvet so that was the main reason i got it it's doing pretty good i don't have any leaves coming down except that the new growth something is happening to it and this the other ones look good so i don't know maybe that's just one leaf so this one is really doing good i really like how it grows so here's another alocasia and that's another alocasia and then this is also one of my favorite alocasia because of the texture of the leaf they're like super super good and what i found a new thing about them is that they can support only three leaves from the nutrients they have in the soil so then they like uh, shed a leaf so if you want to have a more like fuller looking and unpleasant plant you need to actually have several of them and here's a new growth i got i'm so, so, so excited and then i got the snake plants snake plants they say it's easy they say they grow they say not entirely true not all of them are doing that some of them just stopped growing so this one is like several of them together i got from florida this one has all the roots like it had big roots but nothing it doesn't do anything it just sits there like that and no growth so far the most dramatic plant of all is this piece lily the lily and then also the most dramatic are anthuriums for me and this lily was so full and so big oh my goodness and look in just a couple of weeks i had to chop 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 it's like i chopped and chopped and i keep chopping because it keeps doing it. The new leaves are growing, though, in a better shape so far. So I don't know. I tried to water. I watched a lot of movies, I mean, YouTube videos. <laughs> and I did all whatever they say in there. And still, it's not like it's not doing it for me. So I'm just hoping to chop, chop and wait for it to grow new leaves. Like, you see, it has growth. So we know everything is good down there. And I looked at the roots. They have no rot or nothing. Just don't know what's happening to it. Then you hear variegated plants, and man, was I in the look for variegated plants. So I got this one, then I got the burly marks. So you see this one is so pretty, actually. Very pretty. Look at this leaf. Very pretty. And it's pushing new leaves. And then I got this one, which is even prettier. 
has more of a variegation. Oh, look, Timmy Lee, Timmy Baby Lee, hi. Here. And this is a new leaf, but it's kind of, you know, it has too much white, so it's dying away. And then you hear princesses. So I got, this one is a burgundy princess. I really like it. I wouldn't say the difference between these and my pink princesses. Yeah, maybe it's lower in variegation, but it, this looks pretty pink to me. So it didn't grow, it didn't do anything for a while, and then it just, boom, one day, two of them at the same time. And that's what happens. And then I got this one. This is a Syngonium French Kiss. And um, this is a new leaf. But, you know, it had new leaf and it died on me, the new leaf. So I got scared, but then it pushed another one. And then I have, oh, look, ah, this one died completely. I was about to throw it away. And now here we are. <laughs> okay, that. let's talk about plants who want to leave. And this is one of them. And then you hear rare plants and you of course need them and I do need them and I ordered them and I got them and the leaves are really dreamy but acclimatization it's like pain in the nose my goodness it all dies and then you hope and look how dry it looks in there so I'm like gosh I hope it gives me new leaves because otherwise I just paid for nothing the other ones are doing pretty good actually who is this one this one is a philodendron limani so this one is doing good it pushed a new leaf since i got it like i think two weeks ago i got it and then this one who is this one this is a philodendron ornatum which uh, kind of struggles but it does have a new leaf a new growth going let's try <laughs> here we go yeah, uh, you want the truth, you want the reality. This is a reality. This is a beautiful plant as well. But look here, I waited for this so long. And then it's dry. Uh, so then I had a huge citrusperma, which was also dying on me. And nothing, it happened nothing to it until, okay, winter. And it got me several, so I'll probably chop it and try to see if I can do something with it. This is my pride. This is the elephant ear that I really love. It's, gosh, this plant is like everything. I think if something happens to this plant, I'm going to have a heart attack. But it has a new leaf. The only issue I have with this plant that I have to cut it is because each time it pushes a new leaf, one is going to die. So I cut recently one, and apparently this one is the next to go. Still stands uh, strong, so I'm gonna wait on this. If you have to cut, please cut it above. Don't cut it too close to the base because you don't want this to rotten and then you know infect your plant. So you have to cut it here, somewhere above, and then just wait for this to weaken and it just peels off by itself. Don't forget your humidifier; it does need that. But this plant, my goodness, is like you know my favorite favorite plant. It's amazing. It's just very beautiful. Also, it's my first big plant. I remember asking my husband to get it, and he's like, no, no, no. And then I, he said yes, and I went with my girls and got it, and it was a struggle to put it in my... Uh, it was a struggle to add it to my car, to put it and haul it home, but I did, it did made it, and I think this is the easiest plant you can ever have and it's a really statement plant like he looks so good this is a plant if the fire house gets on fire i'm like grabbing it i don't know how i'm gonna carry it though because it's pretty heavy but this is my plant and this plant i really love it this is easy plant and i like the colors and i love the leaves it's easy to take care of the only thing that when it was in a dark very dark spot I had these dark leaves, like very dark, and then all of these were so bright green. The contrast was everything. It was like amazingly looking. And now I moved it here because I made a video and then I was too lazy to put it back. And all that super green leaves, super lemon green leaves disappeared. So I really want to move it back. Now to the fun room. This is the room where I had initially all my plants. You can see this one is dying. I don't know. It was like so full and good for a long time. And then it decided both of them at the same time. So 
they were here all the time since I got them and they were looking very good. But right now, I don't know, maybe it's winter, maybe it's a cycle. I'm not sure. I didn't have these plants for like, I've been only into plants for six months and recently more into them. And I want to show you that this is a death room. And all these spots are from the plants that died. Here, more. You want to see here? More. The plants die. <laughs> and that's very sad to find out. And then I go with my husband on vacations and I always get new plants. New plants, new plants, new plants. Don't have time to repot them. And then you, re you hear online that you shouldn't repot them because they need to acclimate guys oh that word and then this one is really cute really really cute and then i have monsteras of course lots of monsteras my number two favorite plant well i would say my number one it's just that this one um, was very easy at first to grow but then it started to give me headaches and that wasn't the plant's fault though it was my fault because i had them potted in like huge huge uh, pots and the root system wasn't that big so uh, all that uh, soil that was at the bottom and it was soft and uh, root rot and you know it was looking pretty good but it did have root rot since i uh, transplanted them since i moved them i can see that they are doing better a lot better and look oh gosh i got here and you please after I uh, cut everything that was, you know, hard on the plant and was destroyed, uh, it actually gave me new leaves. These are some of my cactuses, and I really love them. They say it's easy plants to take care of, don't listen. I mean, not for me, my lawyers. You know, it's funny, because before when I didn't have any type of plant experience, let's say, <laughs> I had lots of lawyers and they were thriving. And now here we go. Apparently, I know nothing about plants anymore because they are dying. So I got the cactuses, they are growing aloes and dying. And then I have snake plants. And then I have these, and these are fun to watch. And then I, this one was dead and then it pushed the leaf. So I had to kind of spot it. And then I had this guy here I forgot about. I found it two days ago. It's not clean yet, but I moved it and look, I got a new leaf after I moved it. And I'm like really proud of it. This is a skeleton. It's for decoration. <laughs> this is my rubber tree. I lost lots of leaves. And that was one of the first rubber trees I had. This is my money tree. And oh gosh. And this is my monstera. And this is doing very good, except that I. It didn't have enough light, so here, look here. Uh, it kind of moved, moved, moved until it found light, and then it pushes new leaves. So I'll have to cut that and propagate. Um, this is my youngest daughter' favorite cactus. It's called chocolate cactus, and she really loves it. It has some type of group points, and I have no idea what are those, but they have been there for a while. This is the monstera that needs to be repotted. I found on it. Thrips, right? Thrips, I don't know, the double type of <laughs> insects. And I had to do some cuttings I cut off because it was too much of a pain for me to actually kill them and then clean. And then so I just cut the leaves that were infected. So far, um, it's not having any issues, no more infestation. I used this guy for those uh, for the problem but it smells terrible it smells like i don't know septic and well, my husband was going around the house asking who's farting so much <laughs> that was really funny and i got this guy and i really liked it and it was pretty it has big leaves and there's a new leaf and there's a new one coming but then it started to have issues i thought it's root rot so i uh, had to unpot it check it out no everything's fine i just don't know What's happening to it and i'm just guessing i'm gonna be keep parting the leaves are dying and just let the small beautiful leaves more cactuses that are not supposed to be growing right now but here we are growing growing 
growing. I don't know. I just have a bunch of cactuses. And this is not because I was into cactuses. It's because when I started, I watched a um, video, a couple, several videos of a lady. I think it's called Cactus and Coffee or Coffee and Cactus, something. I forgot. And she was saying so many good things about cactuses and how easy it was for her, how beautiful the flowers. So I just went online and ordered a whole bunch of cactuses. Here we are. Some died. Some are still here. They're not doing anything yet. Nothing. I was told that I'm supposed to cut these ones. So never got to do that. And then I guess you cut these ones too, but they're so cute. They're like so fluffy. Oh, I had the rock cactus that had a flower before. And this is one of my most favorite as well. This is a syngonium. It's really pretty. I don't know, the new leaves are not so shiny and not so preeminent like you see the old leaves. The new leaves are kind of dull. I don't know, maybe as they age, they will become like this. I hope, I surely hope. It does good. It has new growth points. This leaf is like a week old, I think. And my huge rubber tree. I really love this uh, plant. I got it for cheap and it's huge. And then I have here Monsteris. Monster, I don't know. This is number 8, 9, 10, 11. I don't know. It's doing very good. It's growing and it's pushing new leaves. Then I have a bunch of plants right there. Dead ones too. And then new plants and then new plants. A new plant. Then who is in this corner? Of course, Monstera. I got a rare monster right here. I got ugh, this plant I had to chop and I, ugh, it's very painful. And I uh, watched online and it says that all of the color phase with color red or purple on the back actually hard to grow. So I don't know. I kept these leaves. I, after I cut it down, it gave me a new leaf right there. But it's pretty it's, very, it's actually very pretty leaf and the back is pretty as well i i really like it and then i got my other monster this monster i didn't do anything for about i don't know four months it didn't do anything it was just dying so i had to cut all the leaves that didn't work out that were like not in good shape and you can see here and then you push this huge, humongous leaf, like for real. Like you can see the upper leaves are like smaller, a lot smaller. And the upper leaves I cut, it was smaller. And this, it pushed like a huge leaf. And then this is the latest leaf it pushed. So here's another alocasia. I really love this one. And then here, my Columbia, Colombian drones. Oh. London. those are amazing beautiful plants i love them monstera this is my huge monstera these leaves are over two feet i don't know how to brag about them i really want to tell everybody how big they are they're like huge this is a baby leaf i think it's a week old or so baby leaf uh, firstly eyes on me i mean this needs to be cut obviously um but the new leaves are doing very well. The old leaves, I cut them and they still blackened. And it says online, I googled it, and it says that um, it's because it's winter and then it doesn't have enough moisture. So, new growth point. It doesn't have enough moisture or too much moisture, not enough water, too much water. So, I went ahead and bought a. Um, um, humidifier and heater <laughs> and it's 41 still too low for a monstera but it will, uh, the acclimatization was in this room so it was most of the time it was about 50 45 percent of humidity here so i have a humidifier here that i run so i don't know it's not nothing really changed um except for the sunlight so it's probably the sunlight I don't know. I have to add some lights here, I guess. Um, this is my Lakasha Poly. This is the one I saved. Oh, I can't believe it. It gives me so much happiness. And look, a new growth point. Like, it really gives me happiness. And then, of course, who doesn't have avocado seeds? And this is my avocado tree, the one that grew up. It's really, really amazing, beautiful, and it keeps growing. And you can see, I don't want to, here, 
Then the side effect of having plants is that you want to propagate. I mean, you see these videos, everyone is propagating, propagate this, propagate that, propagate and water, propagate and sphagnum moss, propagate and leca, propagate, propagate, propagate. <laughs> and here's me propagating, propagating, and then I have dying crops. They died, they died, it's not successful, and some of them are just super successful in the uh, sphagnum moss. Like for real, they just, I just put this one here, look. It has already a growth. You can check by looking at my shorts. You can check how I just added them. And then there is like, boom, new growth, new growth again, new growth. You know, and some of them are just completely dying in sphagnum moss. And I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, this is my pride I grew in sphagnum moss. It's really like I, I waited for a long time. And then just one day, boom, it gave me. The beautiful, beautiful baby polys. And then I got the idea that I want to make combinations like combo plants. I really wanted to make the combo plants. And then, gosh, I got this, the plant swap, but the place I work, I work at school, I got this there. And then here are my pink princesses and our pink princess. This plant is so weird. I had it for four months, it didn't do anything. And then now it's just pushing and pushing new leaves. So here we are, and then I really wanted to have a um, alocasia whale fin, not alocasia, oh my god, snake plant whale fin, and here we are, I have it, and then I had the begonias, and I love the leaves, but the leaves are falling down for some reason, and I don't know what's happening to them, and then this is another thing from uh, uh, Calif uh, Florida, and then I have here, the uh, Warakium or the Queen Anthurium, which here we go, acclimatization. It's called acclimatization. So I hope I'm not gonna lose the leaves like the other YouTubers did. I hope it's gonna keep going strong, or maybe not. So with all the plans, I want to say that why you're gonna find is gonna find you're gonna find that they are going good for a while and then you think you know everything because you watch the videos you read and you you're absolutely an expert and everything on all the flowers and then you get root rot and then you decide to um, water them on schedule and then they die they dry and die on you and then you decide to add a little bit more because they are dried and then you overwater again so it's a cycle it's a point of learning and it's sad for me it was sad i was like having a hard time I was feeling like I'm, you know, um, my conscience wasn't sleeping at night because I need to figure out what's happening to them. And then you need to be ready to have different type of flies and you need to be ready to have different type of crawling creatures in the house. Each time I bought something from store, there's like some type of creature crawling around. So when you have all those creatures crawling and you want your plants to grow, you go ahead and you buy all the stuff all the good stuff the hydrogen the, the different type of uh, food for the plants and then different type of sprays and you need all all the support and all the soil i think my husband bought soil for me i don't know with buys all the time every time he goes to home depot and sometimes he doesn't go to home depot but then he goes for my plants and it's a very expensive very expensive hobby it's time consuming and like for me I started to work and that I can uh, see the difference in my plants I don't have the time to care for them because I have to go to work come home cook dinner and clean and take care of the kids check homework you know and I'm lucky enough that my husband is helping me but still it's not like time before so yeah it suffers you, you can tell that um, it suffers so for now um, I'm deciding right now which plants I'm going to be keeping, which one I'm going to give away. Um, and I'm going to cut the amount of plants I'm going to have because it's becoming too much. And it's not because I don't want to take care of them or I don't like them. It's just that I don't have the time. So I want to keep the plants that I really like. And I'll make a video about the plants that really stole my heart, even though they have some drama going on. But they really stole my heart and my um, goal is actually to own as many of them as possible in sense of uh, different 
the same family but different types and i i really want to do that and it's a work in progress and i hope you guys having an easier um journey of your plants and they're not dying on you and you don't have like a million of these in your house <laughs> trying to explain and why you need them and how it's working and maybe your plants are doing better than mine but i want to tell you i'm very blessed to have them because they really help me enjoy my life they i'm coming home to see my kids and the second thing i'm checking are my plants and then my husband comes home from work and i'm like really really excited so i hope you got something some points from this don't stress out too much just be ready prepared that you'll have nice plants and you'll have dying plants and you'll have lots of pots and lots of mistakes and you'll have to find the vibe of your plants and then they will start thriving you see as soon as i change the potting I've got the new growth on a plant that didn't do nothing for a while. So here we are. This is what plants look like. <laughs>